Another edition of the drive here powered by Ford. This time we got Garrett Bowles in the passenger seat. How's it going? Excited going to have good. you on. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. Thank you for letting me be on. Yeah, you ready for, to go for a drive? Yeah, let's go for a drive. All right, let's do it. We have to be in drive in order to go for a drive. <laughs> All right, well, Garrett, you know, we're coming off a win at home. How's the team feeling? What's the mindset in the locker room this week? No, I think we feel good. You know, we definitely got that monkey off our back. Um, you know, you know, going to Seattle, we had high expectations, but, you know, the ball just didn't bounce our way, and, you know, we couldn't, you know, we couldn't punch it in. We wanted it to, but, you know, you know, it doesn't matter how you start, it matters how you finish, and I thought that's what we did. You know, we, we fixed our mistakes going into, you know, week two, and then we came out with the W. It wasn't pretty, um, but it's a W. A w is a W, and it always w. feels good to win. That's true. Garrett, this is year six for you. Year it, six. It's crazy to think about. It's I been know. that long. I've been here a long time. Yeah. Does this year feel any different to you? or? Same no, same, same. You know, football is football to me. Um, I think, you know, as you, as the years go on, I think there's different things you have to worry about. Like, you know, am I eating right? Am I sleeping right? Is, mm -hmm. Does my body feel good? I think those are the type of things I ask myself now. Um, but, you know, I feel great. Um, and it, it's crazy how long I've been here. I you know, Kingston, I go off of Kingston's age yeah. because Kingston was born right when I got drafted here. So, mm -hmm. so I know when he's we turning all six, the Lion King, yes. him, you holding him up. so he's turning six. Um, so that's how I know I've been six years in the NFL. It's pretty crazy. That is crazy. How's the family doing? Really good. Great. Natalie, Araya, Kingston, everyone's doing great. That's great. You know, this being year six, do you have any goals set for yourself this year? Or what are you, what are you aiming? Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to be an all-pro. I think, you know, coming off 2020 um, and then going into 2021, I, I felt like, you know, I started off a little rocky and I finished good. You know, I just need to keep stacking good games. And, you know, I always talk to my family and my agent. We always talk about chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. And there's 17 weeks, you know, 17 chapters yeah. in the book. And so mm -hmm. it's crazy because now I only got 15 more real days to be the best version of myself um if you really look at it and then that seats you for playoffs so i just really take one day at a time and know that you know every sunday or you know thursday or monday um you know i got to be the best version of myself that um day. that day I and I, that. I only got 15 of them so um and then you know hopefully we make the playoffs but right now I, that's that's how i think of it um and now i'm on the chapter three so kind of going off of that mindset do you think that's the mindset maybe this offense should have i know like we all know how capable this offense yes. is. Yes. What's kind of the focus this week at practice and how are you guys like looking to build off these performances? Listen, we go as number three goes. Um, you know, he's such a he's such a demanding, you know, leader. You know, he leads by example. He leads by, you know, the things he says is just so positive. Um, I, you know, I look forward every day coming to practice and just feeling that energy that he brings. You know, I have a great relationship with Russ. I'm, I'm so grateful he's here, but you know, our offense is deadly. Um, we, we can be as deadly as, you know, it can be um, in this league um, we, for all the weapons we have and, you know, different motions and shifts and things like that we have. But, yeah. you know, it's just, it's we're just getting started. You know, everyone knows that we've only played two games together. We didn't play any in preseason games. Right. We only played two games. So knowing that this is our third game, you know, the next couple of weeks we're going to get, we're going to get pretty dangerous. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm excited about it too. Garrett, you mentioned your relationship with Russell. We see you guys walking off the field together after every game, you know, your arm around him. What are you guys talking about? What are those conversations like after the game? Oh, I just love that guy. Um, you know, he's my 12th quarterback since I've been here. So 12 right. quarterbacks in six years. And, yeah. you know, we've talked over the years about joining forces, um, which is which is so crazy. That's crazy, yeah. Um, some of, you know, some of my Polynesian family, um, you know, that he knew that, you know, worked with him. Mm -hmm. And so we had that connection, um, but, you know, just talking to him, you know, as we played him in the preseason and, you know, we, you know, maybe texting each other here and there, yeah. um, you know, so we start, we've had that, you know, relationship already started. And when he got here, you know, he called me immediately and, um, you know, we, we were just talking about how crazy it was. We were just literally talking about, you know, a couple of years ago, hey, we're going to join forces and now we're here. So, um, you know, I'm very grateful. Um, I'm grateful to have a leader like that. I'm grateful to have a guy that I can be with you know, have that consistency behind me for the next couple of years. For sure. Yep, well, another home game this weekend. 49ers are coming to down for a Sunday night game. What, what are you excited for this weekend? Is, you know, we're going to be back in prime time. <laughs> Sunday night football. Yeah. Um, it can't get better than that. No, yeah. um, you know, everyone's watching. Um, you know, you got to be the best version of yourself. You know, you got you to gotta sell yourself to the world. And, 
you know, our offense is just going to click and, uh, you know, on all cylinders one of these weeks. So hopefully it starts here this Sunday and we can build off of it. Um, you know, it's a big time, big time game and, and big time moments and big time and big time moments, big time players make big time plays. So if that makes sense. It does. Um, <laughs> and I feel like, you know, our playmakers are going to make what they need to make. Um, and I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what the outcome is on Sunday night. Back in front of Broncos country again this weekend. What's your message to them? We have great fans. We have very passionate fans. We have people that, you know, that have been spoiled um, because, you know, our organization is so world renowned. You know, everybody knows what we have. Started with LA, you know, start, you know, they went to Peyton and now, you know, with Russ, I, you know, I feel like we, we finally have a quarterback like those two guys um, that we can build off of what they've done. And, you know, the legacy we have here is phenomenal. You know, it's one of the greatest organizations out there. In, in all of sports, and I truly believe that. I'm very grateful to be a part of this great organization with great owners now, great GM, great coaches, great players. Um, and I'm, like I said, we have a phenomenal fan base, um, you know, and I'm just looking forward to seeing what they do for us. Um, just know, just be patient with us. You know, we'll get, we're working out the kinks, um, but we all love you guys and we're grateful for you guys because you cheer, you cheer loud and make it difficult for the opposing team. Oh yeah, I love it. Well, Garrett, appreciate you joining me for this edition of The Drive powered by Ford. It was great having you on. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.